the book we're talking about is the Mandeville, so John Mandeville's Travels to the Orient. Uh, this is the edition of 1488. Now, this book came from the library of Giovanni de Verrazzano. I pronounce it right, but I apologize for the accent. Anyway, he was an explorer who was the first European to find the Bay of New York in 1524. And this book came from his library, which I bought last year. There were only five copies of this book, and one copy in a private collection in the world, and that's my collection. So you can see original of a little drawing of Mandeville in the inside covers. And there is the book, as can be seen. And the date of the book is to the back pages, including the mark of the printer, was printed in, in Italy. And um, the importance of the book, of course, is this is the book that Columbus had used uh, to find, or what he thought he would find, would be China. So the book, name of the book is Sir John Mandeville's Travels to the Orient. But of course we know that Columbus landed on Haiti um, rather than America. And of course from there he realized that um, there were greater lands beyond. And that it wasn't, he wasn't in China. Now, the importance of the book, of course, is the age. Its condition is very good. The age of the book and the rarity of the book and from whose library it came from. It came from the explorer Giovanni da Vera Zano. It came from his library, which I bought in Italy. I had to get special license of course to export it out of Italy because it's considered a work of art and luckily they had two copies in the National Library System of Italy otherwise I would never have been able to allow to leave the country with the book. But it's here now in my workshop and it's on our site felixrarebooks.com <laughs>